Hi, this is Rich Carlson. Welcome to another episode of The Art of Rope Work here at Canyons and Crags. You know one of the worst feelings? When you come down from a rappel, you go to pull the rope and you realize the rope is stuck. One way you can avoid that is to make sure that you set it up so the rappel ring is hanging over the edge. That way when you go to pull the rope, you can look up and see exactly what's going on. Unfortunately, that creates some difficult rappel starts. Today we're going to talk about something called courtesy rigging that gives you the best of both worlds. Easy rappel starts, at least for everybody with the last person down, and easy rope pulls. So grab your gear and a rope and follow along. Courtesy rigging is quite simple to set up and use. The anchor webbing is rigged long enough so the rappel ring will hang over the edge for the last person down. For everyone else in the group, the rappel ring is pulled up and clipped with a carabiner to a loop close to the anchor. At this point, you can use whatever rigging is appropriate for your group's safety and efficiency. Illustrated in this photo is a totem block used as a releasable contingency. All but the last person in the group is able to rig for rappel away from the edge and start their rappels normally. The last person removes the carabiner from the rappel ring and the anchor webbing, extends the webbing so the rappel ring hangs over the edge, and deals with the difficult start, taking one for the team for an easy rope pull. In this photo, I have my rappel device rigged and locked off. I'm using the webbing as a hand line to lower myself over the edge until I can load the rope. Once the rope is loaded, I will unlock my rappel device and rappel. It's a beautiful thing when you can look up and see the rappel ring hanging over the edge and watch as the rope pulls smoothly, then drops to the ground. Let's do a quick review and look at a few simple ways you can set up your webbing for courtesy rigging. The term courtesy rigging refers to a system that provides everyone in a group, except the last person, with the ability to rig and start their rappel back away from the edge. The last person repositions the rappel ring over the edge for an easy rope pull, but they are forced to deal with a trickier rappel start. There are a variety of ways to set up courtesy rigging. Presented here are a few of my favorites. The first method starts with a frost knot to create the courtesy rigging point for everyone except that last person. To create the second rigging point, the one that will be extended over the edge for the last person after everyone else is down, rethread the tail of a second piece of webbing through the frost knot as shown. Be sure to leave adequate tails and have someone else inspect the knot. Now clip a carabiner into the loop of the frost knot. Pull up the far end of the extended piece of webbing and clip the rappel ring into the carabiner. Note that the rappel ring is connected to an overhand knot on a bite at the end of the webbing. You can rig single, twin, or double rope systems just like you normally would for everyone except the last person down. Once everyone else is down, the last person unclips the rappel ring from the carabiner and sets the rappel ring over the edge. Do you see two overhand knots in this single strand of webbing? I folded the webbing over, then tied the two knots to provide redundant strands. The webbing is only redundant between the knots where the webbing runs over the edge and is most likely to be abraded. The next method for setting up courtesy rigging involves a re-threaded frost knot. It only requires one piece of webbing that is long enough to go around the anchor and extend over the edge. Start by establishing the location of the overhand knot that will be re-threaded. Instead of re-threading this knot with the tail of the webbing like you normally would, fold the tail over to create a bite and re-thread with the bite. When you are finished tying, double check yourself, then have one of your partners check it. Make certain that there are three strands of webbing coming out of both ends of the knot and that there are three strands everywhere inside of the knot. 
It is possible to accidentally tie a slip knot, so be sure to test it in a safe position before anyone goes over the edge. This last method involves a simple rethreaded overhand knot in the extended piece of webbing that will be used by the last person down, plus a separate sling for the courtesy rigging for everyone else. I prefer using a simple basket for the courtesy rigging because it is simple and quick for the last person down to remove it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you think it will benefit others, please share it on your favorite social media. The best way to keep this old man motivated to produce more videos like this one, while I still can, will be to subscribe to my channel. Thanks!